everyone, it's Michelle Barada and welcome to Bella Branch TV. Today's DIY is a dream catcher. Look at these, oh, that one's backwards. Look how cute these are. These are so easy to make and they're so fun and there's such a cool reason behind this. In the Native Americans would make dream catchers and hang them above where they slept so that when you had bad dreams at night, all the bad dreams would go in there and then what would happen is that they'd turn them into good dreams that would come right through the feathers and all the beautiful ribbons at the bottom. So you guys ready to get started on this really easy and fun DIY? Well, let's go. What you'll need for this project are feathers, a needle craft hoop or embroidery hoop or some kind of hoop structure like that metal one I'm showing you there, some ribbons and trims, a lace doily, if you can't find a lace doily then you can use regular lace, scissors, and more trims. These are great trims I got at Michael's, they're like $1.99 for each one of those packs. And also some wire and a glue gun. Let's start with dream catcher number one. For this one, I'm going to use the larger needle craft hoop and I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to start with the outside part. The, and what I'm going to do first is I have some denim ribbon, which I got at Michael's, which is really cool, and I'm going to start wrapping that around. And I put a little dab of hot glue in the beginning and I'm just going to quickly wrap around all the way. And when you get to the end, you're going to trim it and then put a little dab of hot glue. Hold that down a second, flip it over, and cut it. Now for the fun part. This one's a really easy one. I'm just gonna start layering a bunch of ribbons and trims that I really like. So there's all kinds that, are, that I found. Some are even sequins. And you do that on both sides. And I did a couple feet long. You can kind of do, gauge it whatever way you want. Then take your wire and you're gonna snip a couple pieces and wrap it around. And you see how I do it about a, two inches down? It's because I like how it's gonna show the top of the ribbons kind of flipping over. That's what makes it really cool and artistic. Now, you're gonna put the doily on the inside of the embroidery hoop. And I'm gonna put a little dab of hot glue on each side just to keep it taut. And then you're gonna pop the top part over then flip it over and trim off the excess. Now we're gonna flip it over and we are gonna add some of the feathers. And you're just kinda gonna kind of lay it where you think you'd want them and then you're gonna add them. And you're gonna use wire to add some of them, glue to add some of them, uh, whatever kind of, whatever you decide you wanna use. So snip a few pieces of your wire and you're gonna wrap it around the top of your feather and then wrap it to one of the ribbons. And on this one, the one that's the lace ribbon, it's kind of a large, about it's about three quarters of an inch wide, so I decided to hot glue that one down. And then you're just gonna continue around your cute little dream catcher and just keep gluing or using your wire, whatever you decide. Now take a little piece of leather that I have. It's about, I don't know, I think I did about eight inches and you're gonna pull it through the top of the embroidery hoop and then tie it in a knot at the top. Now if you don't have leather, that's okay. You can use ribbon, it'll look just as cute. Now here's dream catcher number two. And we're gonna use a smaller hoop for this one. I love this one, I did it in a purple theme. So I have also, I've added some embroidery floss we're gonna use for this one and also some glass beads. So take the inside of the hoop, we're gonna start with that first, take some embroidery floss and you're gonna just tie that to one end and wrap it around like a cobweb. And then you're gonna slide on some of the glass beads throughout 
and then if you see what I did, I kind of I cut it at a bead and then I tie on more of the embroidery floss. But that's what looks cool because I like I said I like to see the ends of everything. So seeing the ends of the floss when you're tied it makes it look more authentic and it also makes it look more artistic. Now take the outside of the hoop and I'm using that same denim ribbon except this time I'm using the inside of it. So it's going to be the lighter color. And after I've totally covered that, now I'm going to just add ribbons to the bottom of this hoop. So you're going to just tie on all kinds of ribbons and trims. This is a really cool piece of yarn. I love that yarn. It has like little loopies on it. Through and loop through itself. So now I have a double piece of that ribbon. And I did that on this one also. And then when you use the larger pieces, you can just glue it. And just continue on until it looks fabulous and the way that you want it to look. I love that little sequence ribbon. And then I decided to add some of the denim ribbon that we tied around the whole piece, but I used the dark side. Now I'm going to add some feathers. And on this one, what I did was I took the embroidery floss and I did it at different lengths and I just hot glued it and wound the bottom of the floss all the way around and then tied it at different lengths. Now you're going to do the same thing you did on the other dream catcher. Pop the center part in. Add your little leather strap at the top and that's where you're going to hang it. And you're done. I think that today's DIY turned out fantastic. I think it was fun. I love ribbons and yarns and things that sparkle and trims. You guys have to know that by now that I love to add little things on, you know, add trimmings to everything. So I think it turned out fantastic. I think it was so easy to make. And I hope you guys love today's project. So I hope you can subscribe. If this is your first time ever to my channel, please be sure to click the subscribe button so you know when I do my next videos. And then also, I'm gonna have some other videos at the end that you can check out so you can continue on your DIY day. So until next time, have an awesome day everyone. Bye. You may wanna check out my No Sew Pencil Case just by clicking on the video you see here or my Ombre Backpack. That's a cute project that we also decoupage with Mod Podge some fabric flowers. And also, if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe for new videos. I post every Tuesday and Friday. And also comment because you know I love comments.